morning and this is Simon from the Train Ferret. It has been a minute since I have made a video. Thank you for tuning into this one. So Simon went to a vet appointment for checkup, some wellness stuff, and to get this fluid filled cyst removed. And when they gave him the anesthesia and the sedation medications, they got him knocked out. He was getting ready to go for the um, procedure. And then all of a sudden his heart rate went way high and then it would go way low. He was having arrhythmias, stuff was going crazy. My vet was like, he's having a heart emergency. We need to stop the procedure. I internally freak out, <laughs> um, but they reversed the medications. They were able to reverse. His heart rate stayed high. They gave him lidocaine IV. They were doing all the right things. The medicines they were using were right. It just seemed to be that Simon, for whatever reason, was having a reaction. So his heart rate just kept staying high and arrhythmias and so on. And over time, once his body, I guess, processed the medicine that had been in there that they could not reverse, he was went back to normal. So my vet wanted me to go get his heart checked. And thankfully I live near the NC State Vet School, which has a cardiology department. So we went there, he had a workup, he had an echo, which is an ultrasound of the heart. And we got a pretty good report back. There's just a couple little things that they pointed out to kind of monitor, but he has no heart disease or heart failure or anything like that. Yes, that is so good. <laughs> they basically just said, you know, these little things could be due to his age or, you know, whatever. Just right now we'll just monitor them and gave my vet a couple of medications to avoid because of what happened. And they've given him the all clear to go back for the procedure. Of course, I will be freaking out, but it needs to happen because it keeps growing slowly and I think it's a little bit uncomfortable for him. So I'll keep you updated on that and my state of mind because I know I'm gonna be so nervous. <laughs> yes, mom will be so nervous. But I wanted to say times like these are why I'm so glad I have pet insurance. I have nationwide pet insurance. I believe they're the only one in the U.S. that still does exotics. So <laughs> it was so nice that when my vet came out and said what was happening, I could just say, just do whatever, just take care of him and not sit there and stress out about money. So if you're interested in pet insurance, you can go to Nationwide and um, give them a call and see, you know, what they have and see if that's something you're interested in. But tell you what, it's so nice when things like that happen because I've had to pay for, you know, the first procedure that went awry. <laughs> and then I paid for the cardiology appointment to make sure his heart's okay. And now we're going to go back for the procedure again. So bills add up, but her babies are worth it. And you chose them. They did not choose you. So it's your responsibility to take care of them in an appropriate way. I am sorry I have not been able to make as many videos. I am just so busy with work and I'm still in grad school, but I will try to be better. <laughs> I just, I'm just so busy, but there's nothing. It's not like I don't want to, to be on here making stuff for you guys. But that's all for now. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you guys next time. Bye.